Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, you could just call me Eric, and let's get right into the news. That's... I'm sure that's a reference that everyone enjoyed. But, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail of this video, I have a story to tell. Okay, so... In my current situation, with being unemployed and only being able to use public transport, Centrelink, that's an Australian government thing, if you guys don't know, you can look it up, but Centrelink requires me to search for 20 jobs a month. And so, over the last six months, I have applied to so many places that I'm pretty sure I've just ran out of places in Devonport. Like, I've been everywhere. I've been to some places twice or three times. It's... It's insane. So, I decided to go a little south of Devonport and go to La Trobe to hopefully fill out my 20 jobs for this month. And as I am walking around La Trobe, kind of confused, kind of not sure what jobs are okay for me and what aren't because I, ha I have very limited experience in cafes and restaurants and that industry. Hospitality, I guess. But, um, as I am standing outside some place, uh, I don't know how to say it, but it's on screen now. There it is. As I'm standing outside, Wondering if it's okay for me to apply there with what little experience I have. A car pulls up next to me, and I expect whoever it is to just walk into the building. Like, that's what you do. But instead, she comes up to me. A middle-aged, maybe m mid... 30s, 40s, a lady comes up to me and goes, Excuse me, sir, are you looking for jobs? And I say, Yeah, of course. Thinking that maybe she's going to suggest places I can look for work, like, Hey, the subway down the street is hiring, or whatever. But instead of that, she gives me $50, a $50 note, and just says, I wanted to give this to you, spend it wisely, keep up the good work, you'll get there eventually, that kind of... That's just insanity, right? You see a total stranger looking for jobs and... Give him a $50 note, because I guess he needs it if he doesn't have a job. But <laughs> you can see the comparison I'm making to Mr. Beast here, right? Just giving a stranger money because they look like they could use it. Th that's what happened to me, and I am floored by this, like... Yeah, 50 bucks isn't the thousands that Mr. Beast operates in, but it's still a lot of money. 50 bucks. I could buy, I don't know, one of these, but... <sighs> a woman that I don't know gives me 50 bucks as she sees me wandering around Latrobe looking for work. I 
give her all the thanks I can, like, thank you, of course I'll use it wisely, I, this is so generous of you, and she just gets back in the car and leaves. The generosity of some people on this planet, just every time, because, you know, a lot of people, they aren't that nice. But then there are people like Mr. Beast and this woman who just do something generous with their money out of nowhere, with very little reasoning, like, hey, you could use this more than me, and just does it, and that's just so nice. It's such a generous, kind-hearted thing, so simple, yet completely baffling. It... I... I, I honestly don't know how I'm going to make this into a good video, but... I just felt like that story needed to be told. That, hey, there are good people out there, and they do things like this just because they can, and they think it's the right thing to do. It's... I... <laughs> I have 50 dots. Uh, $50 now, so, yep, and if that lady ever sees this video, thank you, I am making you known to all my friends, it, uh, it's, it's just, it's just so kind and generous and I, it always blows my mind when people do this sort of thing, because it's not that common. But when it does happen, it just brightens up your day so much. Like, I'm probably going to be smiling for the rest of the week from this. It's... it's just... it's great. And thank that woman, and, um, y yeah, that's, that's really it. People who have this kind of generosity are really what makes this world a better place, and, yeah, it's, that's really all there is to it. I, I'll see you in the next video, but, um, yeah, that, that happened. Bye. <laughs> I should look at the camera when I say bye. This is Beast 6000, oh, Mrs. B6000, that's not her name, but she gave me money, so they're the same. <laughs>